I'm Yanish Yang you are, and in this tutorial, I have a special request from this user that I'm not going to say all those letters and numbers for. And this question is, is how to add the Shockwave, I uh, presume Shockwave original, um, American Infantry Riot Shield unit to, I think he said he wants to add it to Contra, or his original base vanilla game mod, I'm not sure. But, let's dive right in. So first and foremost, we are going to need to find the model, so we're going to start with the art parameters. So we're going to find the model. In this case, the model is SWAT guy. We also need to find this guy right here. We will need to find that, and keep in mind that there is many versions of this. So you will need to go down and make sure you find every animation name here. Anything that you have to go find each and every one. But, lucky for us, they're all together. So you can just individually extract them all. Next, we will dive into design parameters. The Riot Shield Baton Weapon. So you'll need to find this in the weapon.ini in the original mod game, or mod rather. Copy it over. Control F is your best friend. And so you would just copy this over. You know, you just go like that. And we will need this one too here, so uh, we will need all these. So we will actually go from Riot Baton Weapon to the Heroic one, and then the Intimidation one, and we will go one further for the riot shield taunt weapon and we will need to copy that over into your mod and this is again the weapon.ini secondly we will need to edit the armor so we will need to copy the uh, riot shield infantry armor that again that can be found in the armor.ini again control f and just again copy it over and we might as well yeah just copy that over no biggie while we're there also, don't forget to copy the chem suit version of that. Next, we will do the voice select. So, we, what you would do is you will find this in you will find this in the voice.ini. So, copy it, move it over, and so you will actually see all of these. So, you will go see it says riot shield all the way down and carry the three riots. So, in this case, it's only three entries. Next, you will see that this says sounds and they're all conveniently named similar. So that means we will need to extract some sound files too, but we will get back into that later. Next, we will need to go into the locomotor.ini, and you will need to find the Riot Shield Police Locomotor. And so we will need the locomotor.ini, and we will need the Riot Shield Police Locomotor. And so we will control C, control F, control V, and then we will just copy down the locomotor right here into your locomotor INI file. Then after that, we will need to play with some other goodies. We will need to open up our FX list.ini, and then we will need to find the riot shield popo die. Again, as you can you will just do the FX riot shield die and as you can see this is a sound input and we will get back to sound later. And then we just continue doing this for everything that's down the line. That includes this one right here, which is also an, a customized input. You can always check, too, because you can control C, and then when you go over, if you say, you, you know, you go to your vanilla version and you go to search for this, it, may, it won't be there. In this case, it's there because it's modded into this mod. And so, again, this is a sound input, and we will get back to a sound input later. Now, this was right here. This is an object creation list input. All right, so now we would need to open up the object creation list.ini. This is where things start to get really tricky. So you need to pay attention, and this is where you might want to trim some things. For example, I would, adding this mod, I would trim down these ones right here because they only happen under certain specific conditions. In this case, it happens with the extra five damage, and I'm not 100% sure what that means. So I would actually take that out. So what we do is we get into our object creation list. We will see that it creates, in this case, the Flaming Infantry creates the object Flaming Infantry, which means now we need to add in another object. What that means is we need to add in a number, another W3D file. And you can actually just go down the line actually, if you wanted to do that, since if you wanted to put in the extra stuff in there. It's the same exact thing. You need to find these objects. And where can you find these objects? You're good as guess as mine. They can be in several different folders. You'll have to individually find them. Again, this is why I recommend trimming things down. And now that uh, we have everything out of the way, we will get into the audio aspect now. As I said earlier, we will go into the voice.ini, and you can see you can do the same thing right here, and they're all completely named in quite easy-to-find names. But apparently, 
or rather they are part of the chaos mod they are part of are they are not part of the original shockwave as you can see right here you have the via pearly's create die move voice select and then you just extract them i mean i would recommend extracting the whole file and then just rip these out of there as you need them and that's it that's all you really need to do uh also i forgot you will need to do the american riot police command set so let's go find that real fast okay so what we have here is only we will need to add in an extra command button so if you first and foremost you would copy this over all these are native within the game except for the ranger taunt one we will need to add that one individually and the way to do that you can just copy it over from the game so you would just copy it over and all it does is it's a taunt fake command is already there so you don't need to worry about that case this the gla command set upgrades already in the game so we would need to add in the object creation list riot infantry taunt object and in this case you need to go find the object again this is just right here it's riot shield taunt object and let me uh i don't know where any of these would be found really you'll have to search through the uh oh shot in the dark all right you can find at least this one in the system object file so maybe you should check the other stuff in the system.ini file and it looks like it has another uh, weapon.ini input in there so we would need to also keep that part in mind when we are adding these objects you'll need to look in in here and all right i found that in the dot ini i'm going to assume that most of these are going to be in the dot the system.ini file yep it looks like that's where it is so we'll have to go in the system.ini folder and add the stuff that's there again make sure you examine it because you may need to add certain things like as you saw you need to might add another one for the taunt um, in this case you might need to add another skin but I can't say for sure because I don't, this might be in the game originally I can't say I'm not too familiar with uh, the skins too, or anything and that's uh, all she wrote